I thought I might just talk you through the 2023 wall calendar so you can see what you get on each month and a little bit behind it. And so this is the robin for January, sitting amongst the hellebores. So we've got a seasonal species for each month. Sorry about the road. February, we've got a stoat in the snowdrops with a little paw full of snowdrops ready for Valentine's Day because he's totally devoted. In March, we've got a hare and another bunch of flowers, this time daffodils. April, we have a mouse in the bluebells sporting up very fetching little bluebell hat there as well. In May, we've got spring wildflowers, which I love, and there are three bees to find in this one. June, we've got the foxes. You might recognise the, the vixen from my foxy lady card. And they're amongst the foxgloves, wearing foxglove crowns as well. July, we've got the summer grasses, and I've hidden lots of different mini beasts in here. You might be able to see some. My favourite is the grasshopper, who's very well hidden, but I'll leave that one for you to find. August, we've got the badgers, because the badgers, uh, apparently badgers love picking blackberries, so that's what they're doing here. September, we've gone for red squirrels, and they're drinking a cupful of coffee at the Cupful of Coffee Cafe, um, and they've got a little menu on the table says they can have a hazelnut coffee, a walnut coffee, or some almond milk. So those are their options. October, we've got three J's on their haul of acorns, ready for the winter. November, we've got hedgehogs juggling rose hips. A little reminder to check your bonfires for hedgehogs in November. Sorry about the birds, filming this in the garden. And December we've got the stag and a robin in December as well as some holly, ivy and mistletoe. So there you are. Posting them all out first class and I've got a few more that are arriving on Monday so I'll be posting them out then as well.